So in this tutorial, we're going to look at factorizing the simpler quadratic equations. Okay, uh, the general quadratic looks like this, ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are just numbers, and the simpler ones have a equals 1, so there's no number in front of the x squared. But before we do that, we should always check to make sure that there is actually a c, because if c is 0 and we just have ax squared plus bx, we should use simple factorization. And if there's no b and we just end up with ax squared and, well, actually it'll be minus c always, that's the difference of two squares. And there are separate tutorials dealing with those. So once we've established we've got um, a full quadratic with three terms and a equals 1, what do we do? Well, we need to decide on the signs in our brackets, because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to write it in brackets. And to find those signs, we look at the signs in the quadratic. We look at the sign of c, that one there. If it's positive, then both signs in the brackets are equal to the sign of b. And if c happens to be negative, then both signs are different. So there's a plus in one bracket and a minus in the other bracket. And it might be worth remembering that the bigger number will have the sign of b. And then we go to the uh, standard thing, which is that we're looking for two numbers, p and q, which have the signs that we're, we've just thought about, which multiply to give c. And if you think about multiplying out a pair of brackets, the two numbers at the end always multiply to give the number on the end of the quadratic. And those two numbers must multiply to give c and add to give b. And once we've found those two numbers, we simply write down the brackets x plus p and x plus q. And that is our answer. So let's have a look at a couple of questions. So let's look at the sign of c, first of all. OK, well, let's actually just write this down uh, before we do that. So we've got x squared minus 5x plus 4. And we look at the sign of c, and that is positive. And so that tells me that the signs in the two brackets, or the signs of p and q, are going to be the same. And then we look at this sign here, and since they're the same, we can say that they'll both be negative. Okay, so we're looking now in step two here for two numbers, which are both negative, which multiply to give four and add to give five. So let's write that down. So c is equal to plus 4, and we know, as we say, that both numbers will be negative, and so we've got two choices, minus 1 times minus 2, or minus, sorry, minus 1 times minus 4, or minus 2 times minus 2. And we just look to see which add together to give 5, or minus 5, and it is those two which add together to give minus 5. And so we can simply write down our answer uh, that x squared minus 5x plus 4 is equal to x minus 1 times x minus 4. And that is that. Let's just do one more, where c is in fact negative this time. It's only slightly different. So we look at our quadratic. There it is. We look at, uh, let's write it down and get x squared minus 5x minus 24 to give us some room to work. We look at this sign first. This time it's negative. So we follow the thing that says if c is negative, then the signs will be different. OK, so we're going to have a plus and a minus. And the other sign, this one, we can say that the uh, bigger number of our two numbers will be negative. And so that's what the signs tell us. So we know we're going to get x plus something and x minus something, and the bigger of the two numbers will be the minus one. Right, so now we look for two numbers which multiply together to give c, so that's minus 24, uh, and add together to give minus 5. So we want bigger number negative. So let's start with 1 times minus 24, and do these very logically, uh, 2 times minus 12, OK, they add together to give minus 10. 3 times minus 8. We could go on, but actually we've found a pair of numbers 
which multiply together to give minus 24, the bigger number is negative, and they add together to give minus 5. And so we can simply write down x squared minus 5x minus 24 is x plus 3 times x minus 8. And don't forget, you can always check these things by multiplying out the brackets using FOIL, as I explained in, a, in uh, another tutorial, or whatever method it is that you like to use.